What's going on YouTube here? I have a small medical kit and I'll go ahead and give you some dimensions on it. It's about, I would say six and a half inches by four inches. I would say about three and a half. So I'll get into it right here. So I work construction. So some places are dark that don't have power to them yet. So I have this flashlight. I bought it from Costco. I can put this on my t-shirt <clears throat> if I need to notify someone. I can have a flashing red light, green light, blue light. So it was two for $20 at Costco.com. I'm not sure what the uh, Fiat Electric. I'm not too familiar with this brand, but it was two of these for 20 bucks. I thought it was a good deal, so I bought it. Plus, I like rechargeable things. And, you know, it's not that big. It's only three inches by an inch and a half. So next up, we have a Sharpie. On the back here, I have a CPR mask. <clears throat> the CPR mask actually came from my last job, so I still have it, and I'll keep it there. Here I have a tourniquet, and I just store a super glue, plus some clear eyes. Sometimes I'll get some eye irritation, maybe from sawdust or whatever, so I'll use that. <clears throat> Here I have a tourniquet. And this is a Max Expedition pouch. I got it from Goodwill for about $2. I don't know what this was made for, a multi-tool or a cell phone. But I couldn't find it on Amazon to purchase, so I'm assuming it was like a cell phone. And here, it's pretty tight. So let's we'll see if I can get my zipper open. I crammed a whole bunch of little things in here, so up top I have medical tape, instructions on how to apply a tourniquet, and in the middle here I have a SWAT T tourniquet. This is good for a tourniquet as well as a wound dressing wrap and also a sling. I've watched some videos on this, so I've never used one, but it looks like it should work well. <clears throat> Plastic glo or gloves. And I have an eye patch. I didn't know whether to put this in there, but I thought since I work constructions and things fly in our face all the time, I would keep that in there. I have big band-aids, probably about five of them. What is that, six of them? Also have some butterfly closure. So that is about five of them. Some of these I got in a kit at Sam's Club. It was a whole big pack of bandages. It was about $25, so I stuck some of that stuff in here. Here I have a gauze pad, 4x4. Four four. Here I have some quick clot. And I would like to get the 4 foot one or more of these, but this will do from, for now. Here I have a 2x2 two two gauze pad. And a combine pad in here. So this thing has two pockets. Not very much room, but I feel like I can keep this in my car or in my bag at work. And it will be out of the way. I'm not an expert in medical, but I thought it would be good to have these things. I do know a little bit, but my main goal is just to stop 
major bleeding if it does happen and little things. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.